My name is Ramtin Rampur, and today we're going to go ahead and do a quick demonstration of the uh, Thousand deployment uh, Docker container inside the Open Your Appliances. If you haven't seen this slide, um, this, is the, this is how we enable resi resiliency even for IP-based devices. So essentially you have your application layer, and in this particular case we're going to be focusing on uh, Thousand Eyes installed inside the embedded Docker um, container. And we're actually going to use the presence and proximity of the operations manager, the specific um, OM1200 that we have, to get RDP connectivity to our downstream devices. So before I do the demo, here's um, a quick slide on Thousand Eyes and how it actually allows you to leverage Open Gear as an agent and to ensure that we can gather telemetry information in band or out of band. So in this example, you can see the ping did not complete, so we're actually able to go in action based on that. Here's the high-level design of, of what we're going to show you. Um, essentially, I have a couple of um, Nook devices that are uh, Thousand Eyes agents. So they're already an agent, but they have gone offline at this point. That means that we're not getting any more details from them, so what's our next step? And we have a Thousand Eyes Docker container um, that we're going to deploy on the operations manager. And we're going to test the inside connectivity of the Intel NUC. Um, in this example, the NUC has two different network connectivity, one outbound and one internal. And we want to see if the, if the device is alive. Is it pinging internally or is it just completely you know, gone, CPU is you know, gone and it's not responsive? Uh, if you guys are not familiar with Thousand Eyes, um, I really like their tagline, which is don't let the internet be your blind spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log in. And before we look at the endpoint agent, which is the, uh, the Nook, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and add the Open Gear device as an agent. So to do that, we just simply go add an agent, Docker, We'll call this EFD PE OG demo. And all we have to do is um, define where on the op Open Gear appliance to deploy these files. Uh, we're not using BrowserBot today, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these commands. And on the left here, this is. Oh, Gotta refresh it, that's not pretty. Uh, this is our centralized manager. So this is essentially what manages the open your devices and provides access uh, portal to your downstream devices. So we're gonna go ahead and log into it. As you can see, I have a single device, uh, host name OM1208-8E. This one is sitting in our Sandy office um, and currently doesn't have a, a Docker container for Thousand Eyes deployed on it. So Let's go ahead and deploy that really quickly. So I can just access the GUI of that node and go ahead and log in. So at this point, essentially, we're inside the operations manager. Again, uh, depending on your particular use case, uh, usually the, op uh, the operations manager itself is obfuscated, and you're just using the access portal to connect your end devices. In this particular scenario, uh, we're actually deploying the container. So uh, we're going to go to the local terminal. And from here, all we got to do is we're going to copy this and paste it right here. So usually it would take a little bit longer, but here it's not. So we're already done. So we'll actually go ahead and log out. Um, usually it would take a little bit longer to download the one point something gigabytes worth of file that Thousand Eye offers. Um, but I've already went ahead and um, taken the time to download that ahead of time to save, to save us having to wait. <laughs> Okay, so we're back into Lighthouse. Um, we don't need to do anything here at this point. We can just jump back on the agent setting, and as you can see, it's already started popping up. So it's going to take some time to gather information and start connecting. So let's go ahead and take a look at the endpoint agent. So this particular agent is just, again, it's just an Intel Nook running, you know, a desktop Windows operating system. Uh, the last time it's connected is two hours ago. Um, and it's currently offline. So if we look at some more telemetry information like agent views, we can see that, as you can see, it stopped uh, responding on the right side. So we're, we don't know anything about it anymore, whether it's using network, you know, what its current memory status is. Um, and we've built some tests into it that are all going to be um, unresponsive as well. 
So if we go and look at the test, we can see that everything has practically respond, uh, stopped responding and there's no data from the agent. So what we want to do is, we know the open gear is alive. The open gear is on the same site as the agent. So we need to just build a quick test to verify if the agent's other network interfaces are alive. So for that, we can go back and create test settings. Now to save time here, I've already pre-built a test um, right here. And all we're doing is we're testing the inside IP address of the, of the Intel uh, using ICMP, right? It's a super simple test. It's quick and it's going to tell us whether the device is responsive or whether we have a bigger issue to deal with. So in this particular scenario, we're just going to go ahead and grab the agent. So we're going to go enterprise agent. And as you can see, the edge field day uh, device is actually ready to be chosen as an agent. Question, in this scenario uh -huh. where we're testing network connectivity with Thousand Eyes and testing network connectivity to this Nook, yep. uh, who do you envision as the consumer of this test or the result? Is this a network engineer? NetOps team, what's the persona of the output? Um, generally, it would be network engineers that want to know kind of what the status of their environment is. Um, we've seen NetOps team, we've seen IT teams that want to kind of know what the status of, of their hardware is um, on premises. Uh, it just really depends on the particular test that you want to deploy as well. Um, Thousand Eyes um, essentially does a, does a great job uh, giving you telemetry uh, of devices whether it's in band or out of band, whether it's going to the internet or not. So for us, we're essentially utilizing that uh, and deploying it on a, on a piece of hardware on our appliances that again, as I mentioned in the past, it's what I would consider the most resilient appliance in your premises. So that gives you that visibility both to the insight to your network as well as outbound to the internet. Would, would you say that the, you know, the Intel NUC, we've, we've talked about it a yeah. lot here at at uh, Edge Field Day, mm -hmm. would you want to give that visibility, what we're testing here, back to the team or persons managing that Intel Nook, right? And saying, hey, we can bring this, this is showing online in a way? Correct, because uh, that's going to tell them how to action and what to action at that point, right? Is It's showing online through the in-band. Um, the, the next demo we're going to do is we're actually going to just jump into the Nook and actually start troubleshooting it. Yeah. So that team having that visibility is not going to have to now send somebody on site to say, are the blinky blinky lights on? You know, can you power it off and power it on? Let's troubleshoot it. This gives you that visibility without the Nook even having internet connectivity. All right, let's see if uh, we bought enough time for this test to actually action. So there, I, I have a, a, a bunch of different tests running from, you know, pinging opengear.com, checking DNS, on all different hardwares, but let's go ahead and take a look at the particular test that we want. Um, as you can see, the tests are coming up here. It's very, very uh, small, but the site is showing green with 0% loss, and we can do a path visualization to, to the device. So it's, it's all green, it's good to go, meaning that we're actually able to, from our appliance, verify that the NUC device is alive, and we just need to find a way to get in there to start the troubleshooting process.